Welcome back. So I am in the series of studying in Malta. All you need to know about studying in Europe and we are talking about Malta. So if you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Blessing. I am the co-CEO of Inno Global Educational Services. Inno Global Educational Services is an agency firm we are certified agents we help process students admission all over the globe all over the country that we work with so if you have the dreams of studying abroad and you need an agent sure you do need an agent in most cases anyways so if you have a dream of studying abroad and you're looking for an agency that can help you facilitate the process you're just on the right channel we are the inno global educational services we have several years of experience and expertise and everything that you need to get yourself successful to the country of your dream so we are the inno global educational services and this is our official youtube page okay you can also reach us through our email that will be on the screen there blessing2810 at gmail.com so today promised to be an amazing topic i'm going to be sharing as well so sit back i always advise you guys call your parents call your guidance people your uncles people that you know that um i also interested in studying abroad and people that wants to help you facilitate your movement of studying abroad call those people so that they can also be watching and um getting along with everything that we're doing here thank you and let's get into today's video okay so like as you guys already know my previous video okay the second video that i uploaded um, I showed you an evidence of um, a student that we did his process, his admission process, his visa process, and he is currently in Malta. So if you've not watched it, I can put it on the description box or I can also try to put it here. A proven step. So one thing for those of you guys that are just seeing for the very first time or you're just seeing this channel for the very first time, one thing that you have to know about we our agency and how we operate is that we have practical um evidence like people that have gone through the system and we don't just say it in our like lip service we also upload videos tell the student make videos so that other people will see and be okay they'll be like encouraged that this is for real and everything so we have evidence proven evidence and the way our process is like from you contacting us through the email that is on the screen and everything everything is um legit everything is clear everything is black and white so whatever we say is what we give okay that is how we operate basically so i just want to wrap up this country malta so this video is going to be like a wrap up of all the information that you will need if you want to study in Malta, if you're interested. So I have some couple of message on my email and also I have some message. I'm going to be tackling them in this video as well. So first off, I would like, because I wrote some things that said I will not um, skip my mind. So first off of what I'll be saying is that number one, we are talking about uh, Malta and First is the intake. So we have in not most schools, few of the schools, they, they run four academic intake. So you have the summer, you have the winter, you have the spring, you have the autumn. So we have intake in all these um, seasons, just so you know. So basically the fall, which is October, September, October, that one is closed to that already started arriving like the video that i just uploaded um so the next one that will be available is by december like i said if you are this kind of person that like this year i must definitely leave my home country and everything um and you know that your documents everything is sure your finances is correct and everything you can contact us through the email that is on the screen then we'll just kickstart the process because like i said the processing time for um Schengen as a whole at least you should have like one one month 
two weeks or basically two months so but if everything is okay one one month two weeks is okay okay so we are in october today is 13th of october that i'm recording this video so um we still have time so if you want to come what are, my point is that if you want to come for the december um intake just contact me immediately because there's limited time for it we're talking about motor okay and we are wrapping up this motor um discussion in number two i wrote here um countries so as an african I know most of you that are watching me are Africans, people from Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, and the rest of it. As African, um, is quite an unfortunate um, situation, but it is what it is. And yeah, we don't really have good reputation outside, outside the board. In terms of like, um, how like, not like good reputation, like, I'm not generalizing it, but in th you know what I'm talking about when you when you want to get a visa and all those stuff. Um, it's not as easy as it is for your counterparts in Asia, Europe, and even Europe. Most of them don't even need visa in most of the countries. So my point is that um, as an African, um, there are limitations. So most of you that are coming bringing options like um you're calling other uh, Schengen countries germany and the rest of it i have some people calling in uh, finland for me and uh, luxembourg i had somebody that contacted me and was like he wants to go to luxembourg so this is it let me just tell you the truth so that you just know um you have to because we are professionals so we know how this thing works it's not every um agency that will tell you this but it's easy to just make everything truthful and just move along if you want to join the train you join the train if you don't want to join the train it's just fine and everything there are countries in the Schengen that um are a little bit considerate in issuing visas and there are some countries that are extremely strict extremely strict that like you have to even pack your bones and your blood to the embassy for you to get the visa if you understand what i mean so one thing you have to check you might be having this country that's one beautiful thing about the schengen and what they did and everything so when you have access to one of the schengen country you have access to other con other countries in the schengen as well so one thing that you should be looking at as somebody in, in that in african continent you should be looking at the country in Europe, in Schengen, that has this a little bit mal um, uh, requirement that at least they give it, what they basically say is like, that just look for the country that, is, that issues visa. Not the one that you'll be, you'll be hearing of big, big name, but with everything, with all your documents, with everything that you do, with the money that you spend and everything, they will not give you because they're just known for not giving people visa. So that's one point. So point number two, look, that's why we, we, we shift out everything and we choose Malta because what is the essence of you doing the process and everything and at the end of the day, you don't have the visa? It doesn't make any sense. So um, I think I've dwelled long in this point number two, but what I'm trying to say in a nutshell and everything, um, Malta is the best option for you in Africa and if, you, if you're from Nigeria, you know <laughs> Yeah, so It's best for you to Do whatever you're doing in a country that you are sure that at least this is the issue visa They give people visa at the end of the day, not the one that they don't give visa and everything I don't know how to explain it better than that. So that is what it is one point number two point number three I'll be talking about um, a concern that um somebody messaged me on the comment section and i know you guys have you're used to me so um some people are telling me that they would love for me to do a live stream and trust me that has been one of the things in my mind that i know that i'm going to be doing a live stream because there are a lot of um questions that i you guys have for me and there's a lot of things that you know youtube takes a lot of 
efforts. You record, you edit, you upload, you will put thumbnail and everything. So it's a lot. So, but live stream makes the job easy because I can just on my system and everything and we'll just start talking you'll be live asking your question i'll be answering and all those stuff so um so i'm going to be putting on my community when we are likely going to have um live stream and basically i know for sure that it's going to be weekend because you know that i am working um I have a people call it nine to five but i always start eight o'clock so i have a eight to four job my own is four so eight to four i have an eight to four job that i'm actually doing as well so i think the live stream will most probably be um weekend so i'm gonna check my schedules and everything and i'm gonna put it on the community on the youtube community page when that will be so for you those of you that are asking um i should do live stream and everything yes i'm going to be doing it um just look out for on my community when that will be okay so in the spirit of um rebranding and restructuring everything um i would like to um give you guys um our schedule plan so that you basically know when you should be expecting new content that's new videos from this channel okay from me so basically i'm planning to make it um sunday wednesday and friday so sundays wednesdays and friday you should be expecting new videos from um from us from me basically so um in a nutshell this is all what i want to say so recapping everything that i'll be uploading first video second video and the third video and this is the fourth video um what i'm trying to say is that one we are currently actively um admission is open if you want to study by december and also if you want to study by february because after this december um intake we have another one by february and that february one seems very um ideal because not like i did depending on your situation december one is doable february is only doable because of the time there is procedure there is process to all those things so if you want to study in malta contact me through the email i displayed on the screen um there is an intake for december and there is an intake for february just to put that clear okay and also the requirement is basic thing that a standard schengen country asks for or canada or um uk so you should have your um bank statement i don't know why bank statement was the first thing that came into my mind so you should have your bank statement you should have your international passport you should have your um certificate okay your credentials if you are for a level that want to do your bachelor's you should have your transcript if you want to do your master's and you also have your two transcripts that's your bachelor and your um master's if you want to do your phd that is basically what is needed and a personal letter so all the requirement is not like a rocket sign it's just what you should have as a student as someone that wants to further the education and all those stuff so basically those are the things that are needed then also again what you have to know is that the tuition the tuition fee ranges from six thousand to nine thousand euros i know in my other video i was saying euros dollars and everything um it's six from six thousand euros and above okay that is the tuition and one thing you have to know is that thing that is required of you is that you have to pay your first section so first semester second semester your first section basically tuition fee so if your tuition fee for the whole section first semester and second semester combined together if it's like seven thousand euros you must pay that seven thousand if you're coming for bachelor's that you're doing for three years again bachelor's is for three years master's is for one year 
and phd is for three years they also have top up as well so um if you're coming for masters you just already know that you're going to be paying all the fees if you're coming for um phd you know that you're going to pay um the first section that's first semester and second semester tuition fee so that is how it operates and you should be rest assured that with using us with us um guiding you through the process and everything you're going to get your visa okay because that's the ultimate okay that's the ultimate so another thing i just remember that i wanted to say is that um we all know that um most people that wants to study abroad basically have plans of um living abroad okay making things happen for yourself abroad so migrating abroad or mig uh, migration and all those things has started back from the bible days is not today and if you check people that have this over 100 years african americans apart from those stories i mean like people that have migrated from different countries over the decades of century and everything vast majority use um study routes so it's not like a hidden fact or it's not like something that has not been done before or your somebody is trying to hide the information none of that okay so study heart has always been this um sure way go to way if you want to eventually settle in a country and all the rest of it so um for those of you that have the mindset for those of you that wants to um achieve this this is the right opportunity because as you know you're in the system you're in this world you see how um the boom for uk was later they stopped it independence and the letter made the thing strict canada the same thing is making everything strict so you have to look out for what is available at the time and just plug into at that time not to like be procrastinating or waiting or whatever i'm just advising you because um when we started this process last year 2023 the the, the medium of um getting your visa was much easier what i mean is that you didn't even need to even move your feet to any location you just have to send your passport now there is another process that you have to go to vfs basically to give it so as time goes on things are changing so if you have the intention to study by february if you have the intention to study by um, december as well um make your plans active act fast basically because you can never tell what will change and everything so basically this is just what i have to say concerning this malta stuff and everything so malta is in schengen so you can even transfer to other countries those of you that are asking me about luxembourg i really give a, i'm gonna do that thing on li live stream is gonna be very beneficial to me and you because i'm going to expand shit on a lot of things so guys um that is it if you want to study in malta you have the finances you're ready contact me through the email that is displayed on the screen everything will be done from getting your admission to getting your visa and to you arriving and all those stuff and the good thing is that we already have students there so you, it's not only getting your visa and um, getting admission and getting your visa you also have a community of people from the inner global that you're gonna be meeting that will put you along you know what i mean like everything is really structured so we are the best agency the inner global educational services so don't hesitate share my videos to your friends your parents um your guidance your sponsor your elder brother elder sister that want to um sponsor you to get this your dream of studying abroad and everything share my videos we are legit we are we've been we've been in this game for a very long time um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for watching watch out for the next country that i'll be talking about see you guys later bye